I think part of the frustration with Rob and with his men is that, as we see in season two, we we didn't fight a lot, and we've got to season three, and when it starts, we've still not fought a lot. The Lannisters are running from us, and we really want to fight. We want to fight this war, not just chase and chase, and it is, it's wearing us down, and it's keeping the Lannisters strong. All they have to do is be patient and run from us continually, and by doing so, they are winning the war by running us down, you know, our men are exhausted, we want to fight, we're frustrated, there's a lot of people who want some kind of justice or vengeance or they want to swing a sword at the Lannisters and we've not got the chance to because they keep running from us. And the season starts where we get to Harrenhal where we're expecting a fight and, and to achieve something and no one's there, they've left and they've left us a a slaughterhouse of our own men and our own allies. So not only are we dealing with another blow that, 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 that we've been crushed again in a battle that we didn't even fight and haven't had the chance to fight. So there's so much frustration that comes from that. And it's clever tactics on the side of the Lannisters, but you know, Rob's trying every, every tactic he can to get them to engage and they won't stop running, which is the hardest thing for men who are tired, angry, have lost a lot of their friends, their sons, their fathers, and they can't get their justice.